Fitzgerald Fiji Haig has become well acquainted to winning in Brevard County. His journey started as a four-year player on Florida Tech's men's soccer team. Haig went on to score 45 goals and hand out 18 assists for 108 points as a forward from 1987 to 1990. When the Panthers needed him, Haig had a tendency to rise to the occasion. He scored game-winning goals in two NCAA Division II South Region Championships. He also helped Florida Tech claim its first men's soccer national title with a game's first goal in a 3-2 win over California State Northridge in 1988. Teammate and Florida Tech Sports Hall of Fame member Robin Chan scored the Panthers' second goal. Eddie Grosso's header two minutes into the second half proved to be the game winner. Haig scored a career-high 16 goals in his freshman season to lead the entire Sunshine State Conference. In 1988, he tied Florida Tech Sports Hall of Fame member Steve Freeman with 14 goals. When his collegiate career ended, Haig was a two-time All-Region and All-State player. He was also selected All-Sunshine State Conference three times in four years. He currently ranks fourth in program history with 45 career goals, fifth with 108 career points, and ninth in single season goals with 16 in 1987. His playing career led him to become a legendary girls soccer coach at Satellite High School. In nine seasons, he won two state championships, appeared in four Florida High School Athletic Association Class 3A state championship games, won five District 9 championships and seven Cape Coast Conference championships. He finished with a record of 231 wins, 18 losses, and eight ties. His .941 winning percentage currently ranks fourth among girls soccer coaches in Florida. Haig has received many honors for his coaching accomplishments. In 2005, he was named United States Youth Soccer Adidas National Coach of the Year. He has also been selected to Coach of the Year by the Orlando Sentinel, Florida Today, Florida Youth Soccer Association, Florida Dairy Farmers, and his peers along the Space Coast. He returned to his alma mater of Florida Tech as the head women's soccer coach in 2005. In eight seasons, he has become the winningest coach in program history with a 78-45-22 overall record. His teams have had seven winning seasons, won the program's first Sunshine State Conference and NCAA Division II South Region Championships, and advanced to four NCAA Division II tournaments. In 2010, they appeared in the NCAA Division II Final Four and finished as the fourth best team in the Division II national rankings. During the 2011 season, Florida Tech was ranked as high as number one in Division II for the first time. Haig earned his bachelor's degree in business administration from Florida Tech in 1992. I'm Giles Malone. I was an assistant coach at FIT from uh, 1986 uh, all the way through uh, 1998. Well, Fitzgerald, otherwise known as Fiji, um, was a, a very special player for FIT, obviously. Um, first uh, learned about Fiji through his father, who was uh, an international uh, world-class player on the Haitian national team. And we got, I got a tip about uh, Fiji playing in Miami. So we drove down to deepest Miami to, uh, to take a look at him on a, on a midweek day. And uh, within a few minutes, I could see that he had uh, you know, a lot of talent. Uh, Fiji, uh, particularly in his freshman year, really started out extremely strong and uh, really was a very dynamic player, extremely quick, and his leaping ability uh, was, was very unusual. And uh, his ability in the air, heading the ball, had superb technique. And uh, so he surprised a lot of teams early in his freshman year and really became a real threat you know, for FIT early on with our other really good players. Well, Fiji, um, you know, his accomplishments obviously on the field, uh, taking us to uh, the national championship. Uh, he scored a very important goal against Gannon University. I remember that here at FIT. Um, really uh, took the game by the horns there and uh, really won the game for us. You know, he was a very dynamic player that day. Was tearing up the other team down the wings and putting in some crosses and they just didn't know how to handle him. He was, uh, he was a real force to be reckoned with. Well, Fiji, um, his, his strength was his speed and his athletic ability and also his technique. You know, striking the ball uh, was second to none. You know, he could strike a ball as well as anyone I've ever seen. His leaping ability, he would scare the heck out of the, the defenses on the other team. 
and they'd be so worried about him, obviously they'd, they'd be focusing on him a lot of times and they would free up some of our other players to do the real damage. So, you know, he, he was a real team player. He did whatever was necessary. He was never uh, afraid of getting stuck in. You know, he didn't mind getting uh, beaten up by the other team's uh, defense at times. He would give it back to them. Well, you know, the most outstanding moments were when Fiji scored. You know, that was something that uh, I'll never forget. You know, seeing him rise above the defenders high in the air and they would sort of look up and, and realize they couldn't compete with him in the air and he would slam the ball in the net with his head and uh, he was just a very exciting player to watch and he really instilled a lot of enthusiasm in the rest of the team as well. I know Bino enjoyed playing with him and Dylan and, and Steve so you know he was he was a perfect uh, you know part of, of a very effective lineup. Well you know we're, we're very proud of Fiji's accomplishments on the field at FIT and um, Fiji was always a gentleman, you know, off the field. He was, we never had to worry about Fiji's uh, studies. He was always focused on what he was doing. And, um, you know, what we're really proud of is, is the impact that Fiji's had on Brevard County youth soccer and also on the high school level. He's taken his, you know, his experience at FIT and he's taken that off the campus and affected, you know, hundreds and thousands of children probably locally with their soccer passion. You know, he instilled that passion in those kids and he's built incredible programs, you know, at Satellite High School and the clubs he's also worked with. So really, you know, his, his um, persona, his attitude, and obviously his skill has really had a big impact on thousands of lives, you know, those children who've gone on to play in college and, and you know, take Courtney Baines, for example. I mean, he, he taught players like Courtney how to play and really gave them, you know, something to look up to. So we're very proud of Fiji, everything he's done at FIT and after, and he continues to do that and we just want to wish him the very best in, in, uh, in the future. I know Coach Stotler yeah, couldn't be more proud tonight to see uh, Fiji inducted in the Hall of Fame as all his other teammates over the years. They all loved Fiji and uh, you know he was always a gentleman on and off the field. And uh, Fiji, you know, uh, many congratulations tonight as you're inducted into the uh, Florida Tech Hall of Fame. You thoroughly deserve it and uh, we're very proud of you and uh, keep kicking the ball into the back of the net.